Everybody was like, oh, your sisters are so close. Yeah, they steal. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia. This is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. All right, another requested video from one of you guys. It probably, I wanna say it started on TikTok first. I posted a reel that went viral. It's the gray outfit reel, and a lot of them were like, sis, show us the handbag collection. <laughs> Um, so that is what this video is going to be about. With a little caveat, I'm really only going to show and highlight the bags that I got last year for quite a few reasons. One, I'm not the person that buys handbags and then throws them away the next month. I really take time and intention on what handbags I buy. Do I think I have a lot of handbags? Yes. But do I buy the quote unquote big designer Louis Gucci Prada Chanel? I don't buy those all the time. I have certain ones that I like that I have to like for a while for me to eventually put them on my wish list. And then I wait until I go overseas to buy them because I don't want to pay that much money in the States for them. <laughs> um, so this is basically going to be every bag that I bought last year, 2022. Um, I'll bring the bag. We're going to have my, if you've seen my Clawfist tour, you see I have three different areas where I have bags, three different shelves. I'll also link the shelves because I always get that question as well. We're going to go through each shelf. I'm going to pull out the bag that I bought, kind of give you a reason as to why I felt it needed its space in my closet and then maybe give you an estimate on how much I paid for it if I can remember it. Um, what else? If I can find the links for them, I will and I'll put them in the description box. If not, I'll tell you why I can't find the link. I think that's it. Let's do a quick round robin with what I have going on and then we'll get into the video. All right, really quickly, my fedora, I am wearing an extra large. However, I get the question all the time, what size are you wearing? Because I have a larger head when especially my hair is out, I just do extra larges. One, because I'm taking, you've seen it, I take pictures, I take videos, I take reels. So it's just easier for me to just keep the extra large rather than have one extra large out of inventory and a large out of inventory because I don't sell the hats that I shoot with. I just keep them because I know I'm going to shoot them again. So this is an extra large. I still have my hair in the twist. So I probably could have done a large. Actually, I know I could have done a large, but extra large works fine. This is just a sheer um, top that I got from Boohoo that I love. And then of course, black bra under it because I only wear black undergarments. And then all of the jewelry is Live in Fearless collection. I'm pretty sure by now all these pieces are already live, so I'll link them below for you. What else? I think that's it. As I link, I'll put the like to know it post that has all my makeup details because it's the same makeup, guys. I'm being reinventing the wheel for no reason. Is that it? Yeah, okay, let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna start on this shelf. So off the top, I know that this is a bag that I got last year because I wanted a quote unquote a belt bag that I can wear when we travel. Um, we have we travel for two different reasons. One, if we're going to the beach, I don't plan on doing no shopping. I don't even want to. I don't even want to leave the beach. I just want to go from one beach club to the next. <laughs> so we have those. But when we go to like. The cities area, Mexico City, we're going to London, we're going to Amsterdam. I know I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. I want to see a lot of sightseeing. I also want to do a lot of shopping. So I want my hands to be free. So I'll either wear it like this or I will wear it like this. Love this. I did get this from the Tory Burch outlet in Destin. I want to say I paid right around $150, $125 for this bag. They do have it on eBay. I've seen quite a, quite a few eBay listings for it. Um, it's not the price I paid for it, but it's a lot cheaper than if you go into the Tory Burch store and I don't think they have it in there, but I love it. It's matte black with the little cute black emblem from Tory Burch. So love that one. Next up, we have the Poland numero Noof. And I actually got into Poland. I started following a vlogger, I think that's an influencer, Octavia B. I found her like September or October of last year and I was like oh I like her and she talked about Poland all the time and I remember hearing and seeing Poland there was a store and we were in Paris but I didn't pay much attention to it but then when I saw her talk about it I was like oh so I tried this I did get this off of Poshmark because I was unsure of the quality but when I got it 
amazing there is one more moon bag and it's on my luxury wish list that i want to get but i want to wait until i see somebody with it and right now it's only for pre-order i want to physically see somebody with it and review it before i like make that determination it's it's not expensive it's either <laughs> this is weird but it's either 360 dollars or 630 dollars i can't remember which one but love this like i said i did get this off of poshmark um, I can't really remember how much I paid for it, but I know it was less than the um, retail price. And maybe I can pull up my receipt and pull up the bag here. But this is a good, very nice quality bag. It has the strap. And I don't really have, you see, this is the only black bags I've got. This is it. I got that YSL bag that, I'm being honest, I'm probably going to sell on Poshmark because I thought I was going to be the girl that wanted silver you know silver was in so i got it and we went overseas and he came back i was like i'm not i think i've worn it twice i'm not really a silver kind of girl i thought i was going to be because silver was in i'm not so i don't know why i'm playing myself so it's just i probably will sell it on poshmark but i have this one is a good overall nice black bag and the reason why i want the moon bag is because it's a little bit smaller and so when i get that one i think that will round out my black bag collection Okay, moving on to the second shelf. This one I got relatively earlier in the year. I want to say January, January or February of last year. I actually got this at my local Belk store because I did not see this color on the Coach website. And I didn't realize until I was watching somebody that Coach sells certain colors to certain department stores. So this green bag was wasn't on the coach website it's like a nice i don't know if you guys can tell but it's a really rich hunter green and they had it for 30 percent off i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna buy it because this is the only other like green bag that i have it's in like a medium size i have one i have this little mini telfar bag but it's too small hello i need something a little bit in between that so this has gotten a lot of use Every time somebody sees this bag, it's like, oh, when are you going to put it on Poshmark? Never. Never. Between this one and, um, I didn't get this one last year, I don't think. I think I'm going to say when it first came out, the gray pillow tabby. Everybody asked about these two colors because Coach doesn't have them anymore. And you can't, like, you physically can't see them on retail. They're on Poshmark, but this gray one and this green one, and that's why I got them because I didn't want the standard black. Everybody had a black one. Everybody had a cream one. I wanted colors that I knew were going to stand out, and that's what I like about my handbag collection is because my clothing is so neutral, I like to get a little bit of a little pop. In a handbag so i got this one january of last year i want to say i got this one in 2021 actually i know i did i got it in 2021 i didn't get it from the coach store either i got it from nordstrom go figure so anyway love this one all right and then last up on this shelf if i'm not mistaken yes is this little cute uh it's like a chrome little tory birch bag i also got this one from the outlet i like it that it's chrome so it's like a mixture of silver and gold but it has the gold accessories so i absolutely love this one i've been carrying it like this it's a really cute like date night bag so you know out to dinner happy hour with the girls for happy hour something really cute that i don't need a lot of stuff i can pack it in here because this packs i know i can put my phone in here i know i can put some lipstick in here I have a little mini wallet that I can put in here so it's not that big so it's definitely one of those date night you don't need a lot of stuff type of occasions but I want to say I paid right at 105 I was less than 125 because I got this one and I got the black one at the same time and my purchase also and I got a black not a black um a Tory Burch bangle and I paid less than $300 for all three of those so yeah but love this little cute bag all right while we're on this side let's scoot on down to this shelf I like I said I got these shelves from Amazon I will definitely leave them below for you um what on this was a birthday gift, not a birthday gift, a Christmas gift. My sister got me, I think this is Aldo. I haven't worn it yet because, you know, me and pink. 
it's from Aldo, I want to say, because she got me kind of like these cream colored boots to match. Where are the boots? I thought I kept them up here. Oh, yeah. So she got me this bag and then the shoes just to kind of like match. And the shoes are Aldo, so I'm pretty sure this is Aldo. You guys can see I've worn the shoes. Shoes are actually really comfortable. So I got this for Christmas. Like I said, I don't really know how much it costs, but it kind of like breaks up the monotony of my bags. I don't have a pink bag. I did have a pink Brahmin bag, but I sold it on Poshmark because I wasn't really getting a lot of like wear out of it. But so love this one. I think the reason why I sold that other one in Poshmark was it wasn't really a, it wasn't structured. It was one of those Brahmin bags that it's seen its day. So it, you know, you sat it down, it would go like this. You know, it was one of those wacky, weightable, inflatable on twos, man. It was like this. So I had to give it <laughs> to give it away. So I like that this one has a little bit of structure. I also love that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is rose gold and not like yellow gold. And apparently, let the girls tell it, rose gold is going to be the color for 2023. I didn't say it. They said it. Um, so that's that bag. The only other bag off of this selection that I got last year is this super cute let me scoot you guys back to you guys I can set it up this super cute crossbody that I got actually from forever 21 and I haven't shopped at forever 21 in a while but me and Kiosha were in Nashville for her birthday and Green Hills has a decent size forever 21 so I went in there to see what they had and thought this was cute I normally wear it like this that way the little pouches in the front I normally never put anything in here. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Wow, this is the last time I <laughs> last time I wore this was for our November book club because the person that I picked was in here. But I thought this was cute. It's got the little thing up here and it's got this down here to hold everything else. I will probably take this also with me to London. I'm only gonna take two, so I'll probably We'll take this one and then the black one that way i can wear this with all of my brown tans and that with all the blacks and now i don't really have to worry about holding anything i also plan on getting a bag while i'm there so if i do get it that will be the bag that i wear out if we do dinners because it's a little fancier um you should have already seen this like in the luxury wish list type of thing so um other than that i want to be nice and hands free all right what else on this shelf this is probably my second favorite purchase i'm looking at the last shelf yeah this is my second favorite purchase and the reason why i love this coach bag is because you don't know that it's a coach bag and that's what i love about some contemporary brands is because the quality of this bag is absolutely amazing it's got the things at the bottom to prevent it from hitting the floor this is genuine glove tanned leather not it's just a good quality bag i absolutely love the color it's stone i got it from nordstrom now the last time i checked they are sold out and they do not have this color on the coach website the two places that i like to shop for contemporary bags it's not the website i like to shop at belk and i like to shop at nordstrom because what i have realized is those two department stores get colors that you normally don't see on the coach website so when i was looking for a nice structured bag i saw this one on Nordstrom and I was like oh let me see how much it is on coach see if they even have it they didn't even have this on the coach website they only had it in black and still they only have it in black got this one now, I will have to say I did mention this one on my designer bags under $500 and when I did it it sold out online on Nordstrom and as I am recording this it's still sold out so you can try to find it somewhere else. But if you're looking for a good contemporary bag, try Nordstrom first. Um, try Belk first if you're in the Northeast or the Northwest and you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's a Southeastern department store. So I want to say Texas over the Carolinas down, maybe even Virginia. But it's just based in the Southeast. And they have really good styles of contemporary bags. So got this one. This one was a little bit over... Five, it was like five fifty. dollars This is definitely my second favorite purchase of all the bags that I purchased. And if you guys can't tell, I purchased quite a few bags last year. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Everything else, I 
I know I haven't done any designer bags because we haven't gone out of the country this year and I don't buy designer bags in the States. <laughs> I just don't. So all of the Dior, Louis, Fendi, no, none of those. Okay, let's go to our last shelf. All right, I apologize ahead for the lighting. Of course, you guys can tell the lighting is that way. Maybe I will just do it like this and we'll just take them off because the lighting, that wasn't really good lighting. So, first things up, first things first. Did I get that last year? I'm gonna show you because I honestly don't remember when me and Kyosha went gallivanting, but we went to, we were all over the place that day. I think I wanna say we went to lunch, and then we went to the Leeds Outlet. Anyway, we were at the Leeds Outlet. We came across Kate Spade. And so I got this really cute Kate Spade um, flap over. It's also a crossbody. Why is this so heavy? What is in here? Oh, the rest of my straps. <laughs> so it does have a long strap so you can be able to wear it um, as a crossbody. But then if you want to be a little cute and just want to wear the top handle, I thought this was cute. I didn't have like a little cute cream bag and also does have I think the reason why it's out of outlet I can't tell if the embellishments are supposed to be silver or gold okay because it, it's giving silver and gold okay silver and gold I'd rather have Jesus anyway so this is what we have here I think this one was like right at a hundred dollars also, I don't remember if I bought this last year or 2021. I want to say last year. I think we bought, Kiosha, when did we buy this bag? I can't remember. So anyway, love that one. Um, The other ones on, and I'll give you guys, once I'm done recording, I'll give you guys like an aerial view so you guys can see what the bags are on here. This one is, this one is my favorite. And I think this one is my favorite because like the color, it's the combination. It's the color, it's the little shirling on the bag, it's the gold. Um, it does have a strap so I can wear it long, but I like it that it hits so it's, I am able to wear it like this on my shoulder and it doesn't like, it's not like up here, which some bags are. Um, but I love this one. I did get this from, from the Coach Outlet. Um, it sold out, but I want to say it's back in stock because I did show it on TikTok and the girls were like, oh. I want it so love this one this one is definitely my favorite purchase of 2022 love you all right so guys you have reached the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this handbag collection like i said before there's nothing wrong with louis gucci prada chanel it was just for the first time this year i didn't buy a designer bag but i was really happy with all of my purchases and I think sometimes the larger brands Louis Gucci Prada Chanel Dior they kind of get they kind of take away from the sauce that is a really good contemporary brand bag Coach, Tory Burch, Kate Spade they're really good bags so I just thought that this would be a good video considering I didn't buy any of those bags last year I really stuck with contemporary bags this year and with the exception of the Louis Vuitton bag that I'm going to try to buy when I go to London my handbag collection will be contemporary this year. I have a couple more contemporary bags I'm thinking about buying. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will link what I can either directly or through Poshmark or eBay or something like that. So if you have reached this part of the video, you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. While you're here guys, go ahead and like, comment and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch you guys Thursday, seven o'clock. Later.